Hey guys, it's the Tin Man. I'm in somebody's uh, night hangout. And if you may really look at the, whoops, if you looked at the dampness there, being around and so on and so forth, that uh, showing stuff, um, you'd be able to pick up on it. There's my tea. There's lots of different prints. So I'm going to put you down by the ground like this a little bit. This is a short wand, and I'm just experimenting now with you in the dark. That's what you get. But we're just going to look at the different rock formations. I'll keep you up a little bit like this. Because there's a whole bunch of stuff that's been shifted around. Because you're not going to see much, but uh, I'm telling you right now what I'm looking at. See if I put you more like that. Uh, maybe I will lift you just up. There we go. I'm going to lift you up then. So I can see you well too. Okay. It should be better from now. Just to give you an idea. Bang. On sizes. So anyways. There's a whole bunch of rocks. That have been taken away from here. And there's two things that be, could be going on is there's this guy that's building the pools here. A little bit heavier around here. They haven't been cleared up so much around here. It's those big ones about all this size. Uh, yeah, no, like a good foot size. Or, see, like a foot, a rock like this would be referred to as kind of, let's just go with this size right here. That's probably about a seven inch rock. Something like that. So this one you would round it off, I guess is how they kind of do it. That one there is probably about a six inch. Okay. So this one here, I don't know, maybe they call that about a one foot. Something like that, same. Anyway, so over here we start to get the heavier ones. And then we come and we see there's a big accumulation of them right here. And I don't know if this is totally fresh. I think it's been added to, honestly. I remember going across here and I don't remember yeah I remember this being kind of a little bit more as just one big pool actually what we're seeing right here so whether it's the guy bringing them here and he's doing creek stuff like that if he's doing that then I'm going to talk to him but it's probably not him but I will come back and see if uh, you know he's doing stuff when you come into here and you can see this has been having some pickings done to it. Up at the road and stuff, I can see that the lawn guys came by and, pro you know, did all the roadside stuff. Well, they're not going to leave a bunch of sticks strewn down by the road and stuff. And that's what's turned around and I pr probably happened after they drove away. A bunch of sticks got chucked down to the ground. Holy cow, this is all going in. Oh no, I never went through this way. I went over this long ways. I was thinking about going out there to the guy's pools and seeing if he still has some set up. It's just that I know I am in that disturbing kind of time, but I gave him lots of time to be before I'm coming over here now so they could do whatever kind of cleanup that they want to do to feel a little bit more comfortable. And for people who don't believe me, that I'm walking right now, you know, this is a hundred percent. Okay, so I think somebody's been in here and wrecked this place. Maybe. Is this, yeah, because this went right across, so that's good. Whoops. So this there went right across. And it looks like... Here's a, I don't know if this one was here before. There's a nice one. So that what's standing there is about 18 inches. Like about, a, say, a 5 inch round rock or, you know, half rock, whatever you call that. It's a nice little stand. I don't know what you call those rock film formations, but uh, that's good. They came in here and they destroyed his, um, his little setup.
I have a lot of the marbles here too. I'm calling at this moment. <laughs> right on. Oops. Another one on top of there. Nice sand on there too, right? You see them? Huh? They're kind of all this dirty and stuff. So yeah, good. That was one of, that was his big hot tub thing. I didn't complain about it on my other video or whatever. I don't myself mind a little bit of uh, change ups on rivers and stuff, but he was getting carried away. He was taking over control of the whole river. And this isn't like a little stream, this is fast out of the mountain. It's more of a river. river. So that's kind of cool, guys. We're getting to see a little bit of uh, real activity. So look at this. Is there a little one on top of that? Whoops. Or is that just a rock. You see that rock right there? And then it almost looks like a little one's on top of it. But you know where I showed those first few pyramid, rock pyramids? Um, there's the big seat there. A big mama seat. Lots of times there's mama seats around in, uh, in different kinds of spots like that. You know, like a bigger person's comfort and a spot where toddlers could be around. But where did I leave my cup? Oh, I left it on that seat. And we're gonna work our way that way. Let's just go down and look at the water here. We can get a good, uh, you know, I don't know if you've been paying attention to sound. I did that little one I was trying to. I went for a difficult move and was failing and he was up there. And even in here, you know what I mean? You might be able to hear primitive noises around. Through listening, what you do is you listen to the water. And you start to realize that the water has its certain language. And it's just going to keep flowing like this, unless somehow something changes. Little bubbles here and there, but more or less, it's beautiful in sound, and it does make a song, and it does have its lyrics. So that truck just came by, and it interfered in the lyrics. Hopefully you hear me. truck interfering with the lyrics is partly what I'm talking about is you kind of listen when you're standing here when you're doing research and you're on listening videos instead of just using your eyes all the time when you're doing the listening then that's what you're in part listening for is irregulars. I hear irregulars out here more often I'm starting to realize I'm able to um, start noticing them and they are in high-pitched tones all the time, and that's where I have my difficulties in uh, hearing. There's some cool little rock uh, pyramids there. There's a few of them. I see a few are standing up, more than just the ones. So there's the ones that were capable rocks on top, and then the ones where they don't have capable rocks on there. And then there's a n nice mama spot right there. And then here's a good little spot for coming down and playing in the water.
going down this way. You know, give yourself a reason to say a few words. When you get to say a few words, you feel more comfortable. I've been helping a lot of people, um... Good thud, and there's nobody at the bridge. Now somebody's coming down the other hill. Well, just because I heard that thud and stuff, and I know it wasn't a vehicle, I'm just going to know that I've done my length on light and stuff. See, there's the bridge one. So, signing off from the Tin Man.